Hey there everybody, welcome back to another Wednesday Heat Check. So this particular sauce that I have came from, well the suggestion came from a viewer. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name, it's my bad, I'm really bad about that. But he had suggested, uh, I'm not quite sure exactly the pronunciation, Matok or Matok or Martok, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Matok, I don't know, Matoks. Calypso sauce. So this is the sauce that uh, I was recommended to eat, to try. Um, hot, hot, hot. They even have a little scale on the side that says, ooh, it's hot. So I went on Amazon to find this. I'll put a link below for you if you want to try it as well. And then a four pack for like 13, 14 bucks. That included three other sauces. So we have the hot pepper, which actually seems pretty similar to the Calypso, uh, just maybe Calypso has a little bit more spices in it or something. We have the Trinidad Scorpion pepper sauce, so I'm sure you're gonna love me doing that. And then finally we have the West Indian hot sauce. So these are all products of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, they all include scotch bonnets, so habaneros. Um, just as Eclipso sauce goes, that's what we're going to try now. Uh, we have aged pickled scotch bonnet peppers, uh, let's see, water, vinegar, mustard, cane sugar, salt, uh, you know, blah, 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 onion powder, garlic powder, celery seed, and some preservatives. So, I don't know, let's try it out and see if uh, Matox sauce, the Calypso sauce, is as good as my... My viewer says it is. Give it a little shakesy shake. Ooh, okay. Mmm. That smells like it's gonna hurt. It smells like it's gonna hurt here. So let's uh, let's let's go. Uh, this is one of those bottles. It's like an old ketchup bottle. It's just gonna go everywhere, isn't it? The riveting part of this is that, um, okay, it's, it's starting, it's starting to come out. I've almost got some on my spoon. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with a little, a little dab here and uh, hopefully I don't die on camera. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a scotch bonnet, all right. Oh. That's really good, though. That's a tasty sauce. Um, so, yeah, there's an automatic hit. For any of you who've had habaneros, scotch bonnet, whatever you want to call it, there is a real heat to it, right? But it dissipates. This definitely doesn't linger too much. It doesn't burn my throat. I don't feel like I'm gonna get the hiccups. But it's tasty. Like there's there's mustard, there's there's the onion powder coming through, there's the garlic, definitely garlic coming through in this. This would be a fantastic wing sauce. If you if you like it hot. If you like it hotter, um, this really would be would be pretty darn good. Ah, stupid bottle. <laughs> I swear it's coming. I swear. Just having okay, there we go. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, I could see that. God, I could see that in a lot of things. If you're not a spicy person, this is probably going to be too spicy for a lot of people. It is not a table sauce. It is definitely, but it's not quite a challenge sauce either. This is, this is really good. 
This is very good. I, I'm looking forward to trying our other sauces. Um, the West Indian is probably going to have to be the next one because I, I think that, that sounds pretty cool. But Calypso sauce, it's hot. It's definitely hot. These all do have in side indicators except the Scorpion. Okay. West Indian is like a apparently like a medium. The hot pepper looks like it's actually supposed to be hotter than, than our Calypso. The Trinidad just says fiery hot, which I mean it's a scorpion, so I'm I'm sure that this one's gonna blow my mouth apart. It doesn't even have a rating on it or a little slidey scale. So Batox uh, Calypso sauce. I this is good. This one's good. This would go really good with some chicken. Um, so maybe take a look. Again, it's available on Amazon. I think you can buy just the Calypso solo if you don't want to try the other sauces. Um, or you can try them all for a pretty low price. They're not expensive. It was like $13.90, I want to say, for all four. Um, but I'll put the link below. Again, like I said, if you want to check it out, check it out. If not, that's cool too. Let's taste a little sauce. So thank you for the suggestion. And hopefully you see the video and comment on it. So I remember who you were. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, folks, that's about it for our Wednesday heat check. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, podcast recommendation. History of Middle Earth podcast. If you like uh, really super nerdy Lord of the Rings stuff, like uh, in-depth Lord of the Rings stuff, uh, my boy Phil fills us in with some really cool stuff. So... I, I enjoy that. But uh, that's it, folks. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.